Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. On The Bachelor's 27th season, Zach Shalcross and Katie Bigar fell in love. Which unique memento from the reality show do they still possess? For all the information on the lovely keepsake. Stupid romance. On The Bachelor, there are nearly always a few bumps in the road to love. With so many women vying for one man's attention, how could it not? Zach Shawcross was the one for Katie Bigar she knew. But was he aware that she was his match? He recently disclosed that, until the very end of the season, he was unsure of who he would choose. After he revealed that he was intimately involved with Gabrielle Nicky, another finalist, his relationship with Katie Bigar took a turn for the worse. In the end, the former standout college football player proposed to Katie, and the two have since moved to Austin, Texas, to begin their life together. The couple revealed their intention to get married in 2025, during the 2023 After the Final Rose program. Their plan to exchange vows next year is still on track, based on Katie's most recent report. Zach Shalcross and Katie Bigar share a unique bachelor keepsake. Zach Shalcross and Katie Bigar appear to have one of the best relationships after the show. Maybe because they moved in together right away, unlike Theresa Nist and Jerry Turner. After three months of marriage, the Golden Bachelor couple declared earlier this month that they were separating. It appears like Zach and Katie have happy memories of their time on The Bachelor, despite the fact that finding true love wasn't an easy journey. This week, she used her Instagram story to provide information about a unique memento they were able to salvage from the show. She posted a cute video of herself and her fiancé strolling. The video mostly showed off their Western wear. Katie was dressed in a denim jacket and white dress. Zach was dressed in pants, a long-sleeved denim shirt, and a white t-shirt. But their boots took center stage. During the event, Katie disclosed that the boots were the exact ones they had purchased on their date in her hometown. Interesting fact, we went to a boot shop in Austin, where we went on a date, and these are the kicks we picked out together, Katie said. While on their hometown date, they also went food shopping to engage in activities that regular couples do together. Not just Zach Shalcross and Katie Bigar have preserved mementos from The Bachelor. After participant Kelsey Anderson gave him a voodoo doll on night one, season 28 star Joey Grazia D carried it with him the entire season. In the end, he asked Kelsey to marry him in the season final. Do you find it endearing that Zach and Katie are still wearing the boots they purchased for the show? Post your ideas in the was comments spilled when section. former Bachelor presenter Chris Harrison interviewed Peter Weber for his most dramatic show ever. Show. Pilot Pete had a lot of conflicting feelings during his Bachelor season. He was unsure of what to do when it came time to make the proposal. When Chris told him something that utterly broke him, he was already in full panic mode. Chris is now acknowledging that it was untrue. Peter Weber was lied to by Chris Harrison. When Peter Weber joined Chris Harrison on the most dramatic podcast ever, the two were able to address a number of issues. Chris was informed by Peter that he was totally destroyed by something he said prior to making Hannah Ann Sluss his proposal. You want to know the hardest part I went through on the show. He continued, Where was I going to give up, thinking that I was at my breaking point? and that my strength was gone. On that final day, we were outside at the incredibly lovely location for the engagement. He revealed that in order to prepare for this engagement, they drove for more than an hour to the middle of nowhere. Chris stated Peter was a wreck when he got there. Peter concurred, but claimed that Chris's subsequent remarks broke him. I know it was good TV. They used it to start the season, he remarked. 
However, you informed me that Hannah Ann is unsure about her desire to attend, is unsure if she wants to attend. Peter elaborated, stating that Chris's statement truly caused him to lose control because he was already under pressure, stressed out and weary. He nearly passed out, so production had to carry him to a lying down position. Is that right, Chris, he questioned. Was Hannah Ann telling him, truly, that she wasn't sure whether she would make it? No one, she didn't tell me, Chris remarked. I stayed silent with her. I was never allowed to speak with a producer. Reflecting on it, Peter Weber continued by saying that he can now reflect on the situation and that he should not have proposed to Hannah Ann. Enough time has gone. He acknowledged that he made the incorrect choice because he became engrossed in the moment. Fans are aware that he genuinely wanted his relationship with Madison Pruett to succeed. They were only together for a few days following the finale air date, despite their best efforts to make amends. How does Chris Harrison's admission that he lied Last, to Peter Ray Grippo acknowledge that he and Victoria Fuller had broken up? As they discussed their relationship, he revealed some insider information about their time together, such as the astronomically costly first date they went on. What did he spend, and how much was it? Victoria Fuller and Gray Grippo's incredibly expensive first date is revealed. Supporters believed Victoria Fuller and Gray Grippo might be able to keep things going. After realizing their error, they ended their relationship after over a year of dating. For some time now, everyone had been guessing that things were done between them. But neither of them had confirmed it until this past week. Chase and Tardik's podcast, Trading Secrets, included an appearance by Greg and his friend, Andrew Spencer. Greg revealed that he and Victoria were no longer together on this episode. Greg claims he has nothing negative to say about Victoria, even though they are not together. I have nothing bad to say, he stated. She is incredible, and I have no doubt that she will continue to do incredible things. He added that it was a really difficult breakup for them both. Greg disclosed that he was in repair mode. He mentioned how pricey their first date was when discussing his time with Victoria. He disclosed that the expense of their Rome date was $12,000. The Capri Villa was, that's top-notch, he remarked. It was on this tour that fans first saw them together in Italy. They only made their relationship fully known to the public after the Bachelor in Paradise conclusion. Until anything went wrong, they appeared to be together all the time. Both of them began to do activities on their own and with pals. This is what gave rise to rumors that they had split up. The fans were accurate. Great Grippo began his career in Bachelor Nation during the Bachelorette season with Katie Thurston. He was portrayed negatively and ultimately finished third. Regarding Victoria, her debut was on the season of The Bachelor starring Peter Weber. Later on, she started dating Chris Sewells, a previous Bachelor. When that failed, she made the decision to try Bachelor in Paradise. Despite becoming engaged, her relationship ended. That's when she and Greg began dating. How much did Greg spend on their first date, in your opinion? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.